Well, <laughs> at first, before the burst, before the flame that I do tame, I was going to make a video of the <laughs> of the uh, <laughs> mandala, the the mandala, the uh... <clears throat> oh, it's just it's just too much, isn't it? But that that will uh, be for another time because of this rhythm and rhyme and sublime feeling. <laughs> oh. I'll leave you all kneeling and keeling over with laughter and jubilation of the creation that you keep allowing and doing without even knowing that you're doing A no is a yes within the mind. You create everything you bring up in kind. This is a video of uh, the Skylark and the, the mother and their sublime divinings and uh, this video is truly a blessing onto us all uh, yeah <laughs> so so we'll see what comes we'll see what goes We'll see what hums and we'll see what flows. This is really weird. Okay. I just felt something. It just kept coming. Does it make sense with the fuckery and control systems with anything and everything, and especially with uh, the Mary, the Mother Mary Wana, and how it's Something to be controlled and split into and made anew into a fabric that is more likened to a slave within me and you, but but truly as they will come to see this substance, this essence it cannot be 
undone as they wanted to be. A vat, a vat of cans, a vat of incantations of decants <clears throat> a burning of libraries and stories and a collection of the remnants of these they all bore me with their disgrace and elegance and ignorance of what truly was within all of us. The Vatican has become a can't in that it cannot it can no longer hold the stories that they were wanting to. The hue of the man and woman has felt again and again. And the gnosis within us all is growing and flowing. And we are remembering what is within. You can only control something if you have a script over it and even with that that's going to dissolve over time which is why the empire has revamped itself time and time again deleted the story which not only was his but hers as well It's not an allegory, but it is very gory because of our past. <clears throat> Time will tell what will come to last. Time is an illusion, so they say. Time is a creation. Trying to encapsulate our play, our imagination, our proliferation and creation within this thing we call life, reality. The linguistics are breaking up and melding into the original The Tower of Babel has become unstable. And now, more and more of us are becoming able to move away from the cane and insane and completely encapsulate and control the brain Take holds, take hold of the reins. 
things in our brains. And for some reason, I keep getting this thing about, are they against silly seconds? They hate silly seconds. <laughs> People want to celebrate that. So. People want to uh, Why? Once again, the why of it all. Why are things the way they are? How do we get to this place? Why? What are the lessons to be learned? Why celebrate death? Why celebrate anything? Why, why, why? What is death? What is life? What is beingness? What is existence? What is the flow of nature? What is the ebb and flow? What is transmutation? What is alchemization? What is the realization beyond separation? What is the understanding and the overstanding of what is beneath our feet? Where we come from, where we are going, who's to know? It's all ever showing. Life is always growing. It's all right there for you to stare upon. For you to walk upon the stairs, to climb and fall and Decide to choose how you want to perceive it. <clears throat> As my man CeeLo Green says, even when you're falling, just pretend you're flying when you're on the line. Yeah. Obviously, there are things that we witness and experience and can see. We can see the thing that we've been taught is called death. We can see the decay. We can see the falling. But, but few see the rising. Few see the phoenix. Few understand and understand how the flow always goes, it ebbs and flows, that's how life shows us, it is us, we are an intricate part of all of this shit, rewrite your script, what you've been taught is bullshit, just like the fucking BS belief structures you have been indoctrinated into, it's not an education system, it's a fucking Mm, don't want to say that. <laughs> it's an indoctrination system. Allow the heart to flow and grow and pierce through. 
corrupted roots. Would you have the better party with a Vatican or with a silly side bed? Mm -hmm. I'd take it all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think the aftermath dessert would be silly side bed. I like that she says silly Cyben. And also just a shout out to Danny Skylight and her mom. This this blew my fucking mind as in it, it allowed my mind to dissolve into the just the beauty of it all. The fun guys in disguise, but really it's just a silly Simon. There's no need to be morbid about what you have been taught. <laughs> <laughs> is is death cuz really it's just forgetting your breath <sighs> so yeah I'm going to skip around so that I don't play this whole thing because you guys can go check that out on your own. And definitely fucking do because this should blow your fucking goddamn shit wide open here. Bring them one with the guest. She was at the water spot. Bitsy bitsy little spider walked up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spiders out. Out came the sun and shined upon the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Why? Why does it keep going back Why? to the web that just gets destroyed over and over? Why? This is, this is our nature. We're always going to do this no matter what. Uh, the folly is in thinking that anything can stop us from weaving our webs of love, our webs of creation and understandings, of connectings. <clears throat> the tapestry that is humanity it's constantly spinning and weaving, creating and flowing. It is alive, as is everything. Everything that you have been taught is past, is dead, is very much alive. In fact, It strives and thrives within you in this very moment. It is all within you. Webs upon webs upon webs. We are recluse in our nature. Because that's the work that it has to do. 
because it was given no thought to. It's just a vibration. It must move out. If you look at a moving of a spider web, there is a frequency that's showing. The same frequency <coughs> that is of creation, creator. Design, yeah. somatics. Men try to calculate these vibrations and set their own in motion, in emotion. 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 EMP. Emotional or uh, energetic emotion. E magnetic pulse. Yeah. Energetic magnetic pulse. Is why enough people screaming uh, that they're going to hell and they can't pass right? Their EMP pulse is going to mess you up. Oh, yeah. If you're on. A different frequency to spike. Too many musings to ponder upon because you are going to catch the wave and surf. It comes off as paranoia, but really it's just a clarity of how they want to destroy ya. And it's not, it's not simply that, it's doing it in such a way that breaks and corrupts and tries its best to get to the why of it. But you can only answer the answer for yourself when you become it. And that is something they are not willing to do. But that is something that we are even though I am me, I am you, there's no separation. The what? The pitch, the shot to his nose. You know why? And that's why because God arose. <laughs> It says it's at the tip of your nose. He will make a roast a Christian out of you. Mm. Because, because the Masons, you thought you ruled. You thought the alchemical knowing was only for a few. And you hid it in the Vatican. And you thought we wouldn't pursue. You thought us like animals. This is simply a story of rinse and repeat. This is nothing new. There's a saying that there is nothing new under the sun. Unfortunately, this is a script that they have, and a web that they have spun, but in reality, you are always creating anew. Every moment, you are recreating yourself in every way, in all bodies and mentalities. It can be no other way. The design was to propagate and procreate and co-create with all of the essences and energies in a balance. I 
Of course, there comes play to where we teeter-totter from day to day in many ways. Our story ends and begins here. Remembering our purpose, our pure positions. Releasing all conditions and superstitions. Finding again the melodies within the harmonies. of our kin release into the all and find that Within the fall are the arisen. It's just a game that we decided we chose to play. Why? Why, why, why? What were we truly? What are we currently? Where did it begin? Where does it end? Does it even fucking matter? Compared to the heart of the matter? What is anything? without love. 